I just got the Bamboo Labs A1 3D printer, so let's open it up and see how we put it together. I'm Ashley and this is Elsa, so let's jump into the build. All right, I just got the Bamboo Labs A1 3D printer. I didn't have a chance to pick this up before it got recalled for the bed cable, but so I'm super excited to pick this up because this I think is a game changer to the 3D printing industry. And if you're having a print farm, this is the printer that I highly recommend that you get. So let's open it. So it does say please to keep the box. So make sure you have a place that you can put it. And what I really love is the packaging of this printer. So what they want you to do is just grab onto here. And then this is the printer. So now that we got that out, we can open this up. So right on top, we have the gold textured PEI build sheet. I'm so glad that they're shipping the printers with these because these work really well. We have our instruction manual. We have our swatches of the bamboo filament. We have our little tool kit, which is really nicely, nicely packaged. We have our power cable and our accessories, filament cutter, the spool holder. So I went with just the normal A1. I did not go for the AMS combo. All right, so we have the X and Y gantry here. And then we have the base of the printer. And in this new cable design, there's some nylon threading, more resistance, and overall they just redid it. So the perk about getting this now is I don't have to replace any parts like some of the other people who have previously bought this machine. We have our sample filament, some silica gel, and our Bowden tube. All right, so the manual is gonna tell us everything we need to know to get this up and running. I imagine it should be a very quick and painless process. So it is even called a quick start guide. So we are gonna focus on the base here and the first thing it wants us to do is to attach the build plate. And so you just line this up over here in the back and it slots into place nicely. Okay, so now we need to unlock the heat bed. Now I am putting this at the edge of my table just so the screen has something to sit on. And let's get out our provided tool for us. Again, so nicely packaged. So you can see here there are four screws in the red and we are just going to unscrew them with the provided tool that Bamboo gives us. Now I always end up keeping these screws even though I don't think we need them. <laughs> That's just a habit that I picked up on. You just never know. This one does not want to come out. There we go. So these four screws are there just to make sure nothing gets damaged in the shipping process. And then last, but certainly not least. All right, so the next thing it wants us to do is to take the frame of the printer and set it up here on the table so we can take the bed and then we just slide it in through here and it will lock in place like that. All right, so next we can cut these zip ties and remove them. And then, so you just gotta make sure that you get all the zip ties, but that you're careful to not break anything because you don't want to break this right off the bat. And then we remove the foam and then we're just gonna do the same to the other side here. And then you just pull the zip tie out, remove the foam and you're good to go. And don't forget about the one on the side, but this one you can just pull it off. So next we're gonna push the heat bed all the way to the front. And then we are gonna open this cover and pull it out. And then we are gonna have to unscrew 10 different screws. So the ones we are looking for is the 10 ST3 screws and that's what's going in there. Also, I love that all of these little bags of screws are labeled. Makes my life easier. So what I like to do is just drop in all of these screws and then, uh, then I'll come back and tighten them all. Just that way I don't accidentally miss one. But so this will take forever, so I'm just gonna cut to the next step. And Elsa is here to inspect and make sure we're doing things correctly. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back all the way. And then there are two more green stickers in the front where we need to add screws. All right, so now we'll push this all the way to the front one more time and we can reinstall this cover. Again, just be mindful of the plate and make sure everything aligns correctly um, again. So the next thing we need to do is turn this 90 degrees, which is kind of cray cray. So this is what the instructions are saying to doing. And so we are going to start plugging in these cables. So they are going to go into this box. And so you just have to line this part up with that. And you push it into place. And then there is a screw to lock this in place. Again, you don't want to over tighten it. And then these are labeled so we can plug in the X motor. And then we can plug in the camera. So again, it's really nice that these are color coded. Okay, so now that that is done, we can set this back up right. And then make sure you're not like me and you actually forget to plug in the Z motor. So once it's plugged in, you can slot that through that little channel and then you can plug it in and then you're good to go. 
So let's pull out the screen. And then now we can put in the purge wiper, which will slot in on this side. And then this piece just slots right up in here. And then we're gonna put a screw up in there and we're gonna find the four purge wiper screw. And then we're just gonna screw this in. So now it's time to put on our external spool holder. And so all we have to do is connect these two parts and all that consists of is screwing this in. So this hinge is open and then it's just gonna rest right here and lock in place just like that. And now we can bust out our Bowden tube plug it in there and we'll just choose one of these random ones. The reason there is four is for if you do have the AMS unit. And then we have this cable keeper and that's just to keep everything tidy and clean. This I think is the perfect beginner printer if you're just starting out in the hobby or even if you're a seasoned hobbyist in the 3D printing community. The Bamboo Labs printers honestly are just a game changer whether you're doing this as a hobby or a small business or your full-time job. But honestly, I'm so excited that this came back on the market with the redesigned bed and Elsa is really excited too. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this build video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. We are gonna be doing some more projects with this printer in the future. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see what we're making on here.